Hello everybody. Today we're learning about Leninism. Leninism is the historically most prominent form of real world socialism. As such, there are many things to be said about it and many people have many opinions on it. The short version is that it's a way to bring forth a revolution which replaces capitalism with socialism without large scale class consciousness. It's also called Marxism Leninism. So let's start with the first half. Marxism itself is a big topic. All we need to know for this video is that Marx believed that for a variety of reasons, capitalism as a system would eventually collapse. He believed that one day the industrialized workers of the world will notice that capitalists aren't actually generating any value and that they only take from the workers, at which point the workers will start a revolution and take control of the economy themselves. This process is known as seizing the means of production. An economy in which the workers then own the machines is called socialist. Note, for that revolution to happen you need a large workers population, meaning not a feudalist state but industrialized workers in an industrialized society who are aware that they are being exploited. That awareness is called class consciousness. After the workers take over they would then be hyper productive as they produce for themselves rather than someone else and eventually that will lead to everything being produced so much that it is super abundant, which means that there is more than we can ever need. At this point money no longer has value and work itself will become optional. This stage is called communism. I will leave the judgment of whether this can actually happen up to the viewer. Let's now have a look at the situation Lenin found himself in, in Russia in 1917. The Russian economy was practically feudalistic with barely any industrialized factories. Therefore, no industrial workers to carry a revolution. So instead of squeezing the square material conditions of Russia into the round hole of Marxist revolution, Lenin started improvising. First, the workers would not run the revolution because they didn't know about Marx yet. So instead, Lenin would form a party with all the educated people who knew about Marx and they would start a revolution instead. After having taken power they would then transform the economy into a more industrialized one and educate the people on Marx. Eventually the party and the state would become unnecessary and the workers would take over, after which they would reach communism. And the theory worked well for Russia at the time. After a revolution Lenin and his party, who were called the Bolsheviks, seized power and began to transform the country and economy. Of course they were immediately at war with the capitalist nations who tried to destroy the revolution. To be able to effectively fight this war, Lenin adapted the Soviet state to be more centralized, so resources could be allocated better. After the revolutionary war, Lenin established many different policies which were in line with his goals. This means he began to transform the economy and he began to educate the peasants on Marxist theory. Of course he made some mistakes in this, but this video isn't about that. Because the USSR was standing alone as the only socialist nation in the world, it became pretty authoritarian and focused on its survival with a large army, gulags and secret police. This authoritarianism is often criticized, but it is very likely that without it, the USSR wouldn't have been able to survive the second world war. So the ends justify the means? Nowadays Leninism is very popular with socialist parties. The reason is that the conditions in many western nations nowadays are kind of similar to the conditions of Russia back then. Nowadays we live in service economies with few industrial workers and most people don't know Marxism. And that is exactly the situation Leninism was made for. So many socialist parties hold on to it. Leninism is often criticized for being authoritarian because the central party makes decisions about the average person who aren't intended to take part in the process themselves. This is of course true but it's important to be kept in mind that the reason these people won't take part in the process is because they are not well enough informed on Marxist issues. You can call that elitist and you would be kind of right but in the end we have to admit that most people simply never heard about Marx, so having them take part in the process of reaching socialism would slow everything down or worse, lead them to move back towards 
capitalist systems which the people are more familiar with. Thanks for watching everybody. This is actually the second edition of the What is Leninism video. You can watch the old one in the description. I would like to thank my Patreons very much. And that being said, have a nice day everybody.